Hey YouTube, we are back again this week for another video portion of the Daily Dose Sports Podcast. Hopefully you're enjoying these videos every week. I hope that everyone out there, I hope you're all doing well. I hope everyone's staying healthy. I hope you're all staying positive. Sounds like we could be getting some serious, real sports back very, very soon. But this week on the Daily Dose YouTube video, we have a little breaking news for you this week. We have some things happening in Major League Baseball. We actually had something pretty big happen in NASCAR. So let's go ahead and jump in right now. And first up, the 2020 Major League Baseball Draft took place last week. And honestly, no one whatsoever cared about it in any way. Like kids that got drafted didn't even care. I don't even know who watched this. I'm told it was on TV. I have no clue what happened in the baseball draft. Maybe you know. If you'd like to share that with me, feel free. But I didn't pay one ounce of attention to it because it's the baseball draft. And they shortened it down. And it was stupid. And who cares about baseball at this point anyways? So no one cares about that. Moving over to the world of NASCAR. Yes, we're going to talk a little bit of NASCAR today. I know we don't talk a lot of you know auto racing in general. But we had some news take place in NASCAR this week. Just two days after Bubba Wallace, the lone black driver in NASCAR's three national series, called for the sanctioning body to ban all Confederate flags at racetracks, the organization actually did it. In a statement last week, NASCAR said this, the presence of the Confederate flag at NASCAR events runs contrary to our commitment in providing a welcoming and inclusive environment for all fans, our competition, and our industry bringing people together around a love for racing and the community that it creates is what makes our fans and our sport special and i mean for me personally i'm fine with it i'm fine with them banning that confederate flag i know some people they look at the confederate flag as this kind of symbol of how like americans we have this rebellious nature and like we push back against what maybe other people are doing we have this just this rebellion to us and they kind of look at the confederate flag in that way I, I don't know i mean i don't look at it that way at all i look at it as a flag that tried to split our nation up and also a flag that lost let's not ever forget that so i don't have any allegiance to it i don't really care but i know that a lot of people hate that flag i know that it means a lot of you know really really bad things to other people so i'm fine if you want to take away the confederate flag it doesn't have any meaning whatsoever to me but here is what i'm more interested to see will nascar have like flag cops running around the racetrack like are we gonna see flag cops like running through the infields confiscating all the confederate flags because you think of what we have like in the police department and you know it's not going to be that level of person you're going to have to go a few notches down. You're going to have like a mall cop. So you're going to have like fat mall cop running around the infield, getting outsmarted by, I don't know, local rednecks hiding their flags, like playing keep away with their Confederate flags. Now, maybe it's just me. Or does that actually sound amazing? Like, I want to see that. I can't wait to watch Confederate flag keep away. Forget the races. I'd rather watch that every single week anyways. I don't know. I'm pretty excited about the removal of the Confederate flag, but maybe that's just me. Finally, last week, we saw that the University of Southern California has finally forgiven former Trojan college football superstar Reggie Bush after they had been punished by the NCAA for all the improper benefits that Reggie and his family were getting while he was playing for USC. And for years now, Reggie Bush has not been allowed on their campus. He returned his Heisman. There was a lot of love loss between USC and between Reggie Bush. Like it was a very, very bitter situation. Now, I personally, I don't understand why USC was mad at Reggie. They didn't have beef with him. The beef was between him and the NCAA. So I don't know why USC banned him. I don't know if they were trying to get in like good with the NCAA. Like, are you trying to get into their good graces? Why did you have to be mad at Reggie Bush? He didn't do anything to you. The NCAA, which I think was actually pretty heavy handed in what they gave USC, that was between Reggie and the NCAA though. That had nothing to do with USC. 
but they got mad at him and they banned him from the campus. And well, now it sounds like they have finally forgiven Reggie Bush and he is welcome back with open arms. And like I said, I actually think that seems fair. I think that's a good thing. I hope we see Reggie back on campus. I hope Reggie is maybe even involved with that football program. We know they probably need a little bit of help. Having Reggie Bush around doesn't hurt at all. I mean, this is a good, good thing. Mend this bridge and get these two back together because they were great together. Reggie Bush is one of the greatest college football players in history. He played in one of the most storied football programs. Let's have USC and Reggie Bush back together getting along. Plus, I mean, who knows? Maybe the Heisman can now also be returned to its rightful owner too. You know, Texas quarterback Vince Young. Okay, YouTube, be sure that you go over and you check out the rest of the podcast. I will leave a link down in the comments here on YouTube. This week on the show, we are going to be talking a little more breaking sports news. Got another story or two we might need to discuss. And then we are actually going to be talking about sports teams that could have been great, but they came up just a little bit short. We have teams from the NFL, Major League Baseball, NBA, college football, college basketball, a ton of really, really talented teams but they couldn't win at all. Could we see that happen again this year? Plus, we have a Daily Dose Top 5 for you this week as we are taking a look at asterisks in the world of sports. Here's a question. Will whoever wins a title this year, maybe in the NBA, NHL, possibly Major League Baseball, whatever, will they have an asterisk next to their name in the record books? Going to be talking about that in our Daily Dose Top 5. So make sure that you go listen to the entire podcast. I will leave a link here in the comments for you. Hey, stay positive. Hopefully, we're going to be getting back to some real sports very, very soon. Hey, let's all make sure we're being nice to each other. Hey, I'll see you all next week.